Hello, I'm Scott Brozier with Versatile Gun Dog, uh, and I am here with Walt, who's a Deutschstrahler. He's in for training. Uh, he's a young young male, about a year old, and we're working on uh, basic handling skills. One of those skills that are probably very important, uh, or as important as any of the abilities of these dogs, is to be able to uh, be steady when you tell them whoa. Now this young man has not. Uh, He's not had a lot of uh, experience yet. He's still pretty fresh to the gun dog world. We're going to start the process of wool breaking him. So as you as you can see, with where Walt is, he's still pretty exuberant. And if you notice, he has two collars currently on him. I have his regular working collar. That's just a, a belt uh, buckle collar. Then uh, behind that, I have a. Uh, e-collar. If you aren't using an e-collar, that's not a problem. You just don't, you want to make sure that the e-collar is in this position right behind the buckle collar for this purpose. Normally you'd want it as high as you can right behind the ears, but for this purpose we want to be uh, or have that e-collar in the middle uh, of, of all our collars <laughs> because we got one more to put on. This post that's uh, nailed into the ground has about an eight foot cable to it attached to a standard buckle collar. Now that buckle collar is designed to help us affect the stop on, on a wool. So we're gonna put that collar, as you can see, the furthest one back. It doesn't have to be fitted correctly, it just has to be on. All we're using it for is a stop. And you'll see that here in a second. So we'll get this on. So now you can see he has three collars. We have the working collar up front, we have our e-collar in the middle, which we aren't going to use right now because we're just getting started, and then we have the buckle collar in the back, and that's going to be used as a stop. Good boy, Walt. What a good boy. So I backed the camera up a little bit so we can see, uh, so you guys can see how I work the beginning uh, introduction to uh, wool breaking. Um, all we're trying to do is just walk them back and forth and getting them used to stopping at the end and giving it a marker by saying whoa. So uh, we're just going to start nice and easy. We don't want to run them to the very end and have them slam into the stop. Uh, it, one, it can injure the dog. Two, it's, it, it creates a lot more pressure and fear. We're just trying to walk them into the ends of this, uh, this cable here to get him to stop on his own. So he's seeing the pressure from himself as opposed to me creating that pressure. Whoa, whoa, good. Now I wanna try, now I've kinda of screwed up here. I gotta get that rope underneath his chin, but you wanna make sure that, whoa, when he hits the end of that cable, you're just trying to get him to stop. Now this is his first time, so He's not going to be perfect. He's not going to quite know what he's supposed to do. When he hits the end, whoa, stop him. All right. Whoa, good boy. Good, whoa. Clear your check cord, pull him in, make sure that he stops. Good, good boy. Now when he goes down, tries to lay down, you're just going to pop him up, get him back on his feet, whoa. That, so he knows that's what we want. And head back. Come on. Whoa. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Slight tug. Whoa. Good boy. Good. Good. Reward him for stopping. Good. Whoa. Good. Good, whoa, good. Now we're just going back and forth right now. But we're going to be um, changing those directions here in a second. Whoa, good, good boy. So you wanna start changing directions as he starts to understand that that cable has a, a limit and he's able to stop at that on his own. And then we're just marking it as soon as just before he hits the end of the cable, we're marking it with a whoa. Good boy. Good. 
Whoa. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa. Pull a little pressure on him to make sure that he understands that there's a, uh, that that cable st got him uh, stopped. All right, let's go. Good, good. Whoa. Good. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Good, good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Notice I'm not giving him a release command because we don't want to, this isn't that type of situation. Whoa, good. Good boy, whoa. Now he's gonna start forging or sniffing around. We want him focused on me or you <laughs> and just, whoa. He starts to put his head down. He's trying to submit out of the pressure. Whoa, good boy. So we're just gonna keep him moving. Whoa, good boy. He's actually starting to show some stickiness because he's anticipating the end of the check cord. Smart dog, he's figuring this out really quick. Whoa, good, good boy. Good, whoa, good, good boy. Good, good, good boy, good, good, yes, good, good. Whoa, good, whoa, good boy, good, good, good. He's really starting to get a hang of, or an idea of what's going on with the cable. He's starting to realize that there's a eight foot diameter that he's working in. Oh, good. And that's, that's exactly what we want for the first lesson. And we're done. I'm gonna put him up. And we're just going to unhook our, our cable, make sure that he doesn't move and then go right into something fun or, or like something like quartering to, to offset this pressure. All right. And then we'll put them up. Good.